All right, let's go ahead and talk about UPS's anti-gun moves. What is up, Wolverines, and welcome back to my little piece of paradise. My name is John Crump, and I'm the host of this show. I am an investigative journalist that keeps an eye on the 2A space, and I need you to do me a favor, and if you know me, you know what I'm going to say. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you, JSD Supply, for making everything possible. You should visit JSD Supply for all your building needs. They have slides, barrels, and everything else that you need. And you can use code CRUMP to get $10 off your order over $100 and get free shipping. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about UPS. So the forums have really been a blaze about UPS's anti-gun moves. I'm going to cover this, and there was a perfect screenshot from AK Files that I will share. I got this information from not only AK Files, which I got to register because I hear it's a great form, but also UPS employees as well. So I'm going to break down their new policy and everything else. If you've ever owned an FFL or shipped a gun, you used to be able to bring it into a UPS uh, center and have it shipped. You couldn't bring it into a UPS store, but if you went to a UPS distribution center, you used to be able to have that firearm shipped. That is no longer the case. Now you have to schedule a pickup of that firearm. All other regulations remain in place where you have to have it signed by someone over the age of 18 and everything else on the other side. But UPS is also now requiring that you give them a copy of your FFL for them to keep on file. This is a lot different. There is an exception for returns. If you return a firearm, you can ship it through UPS without an FFL. In addition to giving over your FFL, you also have to have separate accounts for shipping firearms and shipping firearms parts. The one that you ship firearms through have to be tied to your FFL and you're only allowed to ship firearms. The other account, you are only allowed to ship firearms parts. There's no interchanging them. Right now, a lot of places have one UPS account, but now UPS is requiring two accounts, which is a lot different. UPS says that they are doing these changes because they are required by new ATF regulations. They want to be compliant with these regulations. The problem is I don't know about any regulations that deal with shipping of firearms that have changed in the last few days. If there is, please let me know down below. What I think is happening is someone at UPS does not understand firearms and they probably saw the new regulations surrounding unfinished frames and receivers and are getting that mixed up. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just an anti-gun move by UPS. But you know what? Their slogan is, what can Brown do for you? What Brown can do for me is stop trying to impose anti-gun regulations on me that you do not have to. I want you to be a common carrier, which will carry all legal goods. But I guess you decided not to do that. And a lot of the UPS employees I spoke to are very, very upset about that. And they don't understand why UPS is taking this anti-gun stand. They've already taken a stand against unfinished frames and receivers, such as the Polymer 80s. And I'm not sure if this is due to pressure from Giffords or Brady or whatnot. I'm still digging into that, and I will find the reason. So don't even try to hide it from me, UPS, because I am on it like Hunter Biden in a crack house. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember the Discord. The Discord is a lot of fun. You can join it down below. It's in the description. Just click on there and join the fun. All right, guys, love you very much. Have a great evening. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I'm out of here. Wolverines, mother.